Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Uh, today we've got quite a few things to go over, so I'm just going to dive right in. Uh, first off, UI slightly different, nothing major here, just the buttons have kind of moved around uh, to get rid of this right side funky thing that was always been sitting there, um, although there's still some bits left over from it, but we'll ignore them for now. Um, right, first off, one of the major changes has been the terrain. Uh, we're now using the Unity terrain system which is better for me because I can actually edit things in Unity rather than needing to use any external programs. Uh, performance is actually better as well and it looks alright. There's definitely some things I can do to improve this which will be happening at some point when I feel like it. Also the camera is uh, a bit more free now. You can go directly above things um, and the reason for this will come apparent soon. And I am going to add in panning at some point in time, uh, just haven't bothered yet. Um, I think it looks a bit more like you're on an asteroid now. I know there's some clipping issues with the distance and I'll fix them at one point as well. But I'm quite happy with it at the moment and it's going to allow us to do things like if a big ship crashes it'll make a crater, stuff like that. It'll be pretty cool, I think anyway. Uh, right, next, new changes. Every building has changed, um, every single one. I got a pack from the asset store for these. Uh, they look pretty good. I like the textures, but they're not really the right style for what we're going for. They're more sci-fi than sci-fi industrial, I want to say. Kind of as we're more in a dystopian society than a everything is happy. It's Star Trek world. Um, they look, as I said, they look pretty cool. We'll go over all of those in a bit. Uh, but the main change for buildings has actually not come from the buildings themselves, but the building system. Um, so the last one with the points, uh, it wasn't very nice to use, to be honest. Um, so I've changed it to place stuff wherever the hell you want, um, which is much nicer. Uh, you may notice that things kind of look like they should fit, but don't. This isn't the fault of the building system. This is my fault for not setting up colliders properly because I was lazy. Um, I'll fix that again at some point. Uh, but let's just keep building some buildings here. Um, and you can see all the new models that we're using and stuff. As I said, I prefer the old ones, but there's a reason we had to change that, which is I initially thought when I started this project that pretty much Fragile Allegiance was abandoned, you know, it's been almost 20 years, no one really cares. Uh, then I thought it was owned by Atari, which was scary, and now I found out it's not owned by Atari, but it's definitely being actively managed, so I'm trying to avoid uh, direct comparisons to the original gameplay. We can copy the gameplay, that's fine. It's going to be different, obviously, because we're in a three dimensions, and we're going to try and improve things. Uh, but buildings wise, copying that is a big no-no. Um, I am going to go for a Hail Mary and see what, like, the price or if there's any negotiation tactics to actually get the ability to call this Fragile Allegiance, because that would be super cool. Otherwise, what we're doing is a game inspired by Fragile Allegiance with some improvements, um, which, I mean, yeah, we won't have the name, but it's going to be cool either way, so hey-ho. Ooh! Something I've actually kind of not shown in the building system here is rotation. Um, you can rotate these things now. So, you know, it's no longer everything is in a straight line. It's quite nice to use instead. And it's really difficult for me to describe over a video, I guess, how different this is to the old system or much how much nicer it is to use. It feels relatively polished other than the... Uh, collision issues which are caused by me and my laziness um, but I'm not super keen on fixing them yet because I honestly don't know well we're not I don't know how long we're going to be keeping these buildings in for and spending the time to fix them isn't worth the effort at the moment uh, so as you can see we've got building states for pretty much everything now and it does look cool um, also you may notice there's doors on something here <laughs> I finally added in some animations. Um, they're not perfect. Well, it's not really an animation, um, but as you can see, stuff now flies out. There's doors. I don't think I've turned on audio, but there is a sound now. Um, so you just have to imagine the door opening sound, because that's the only sound in the game anyway. Uh, unless you could hear that, but I think I've muted everything. Um, anyway, the ships now as well are different. Uh, not, sorry, the models, the way they actually fly around. Uh, so you may be able to guess, based on I've had to redesign the ship movement as to what I might be working on next here, but uh, they now are much better than they were before. There's some collision avoidance. Um, the previous system, previous system had about 50 different variations of orbit pattern. 
Whereas this kind of has infinite um, because they, well, how it works is they start at any point from a, a radius generally out of your view um, from the the middle of here. Uh, they pick a target, which would be, if there's nothing on the asteroid, it's just kind of roughly anywhere. Otherwise, it's they would fly purposely over a building, um, which is also used for attack patterns. Uh, and then they generally fly in a mostly straight away around and then come around again. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, it, it just, it looks a lot better. Um, I should, probably should have spammed some more ships. We'll, we'll do that while, while I'm talking here. But I'm very happy with the new new ship flight system. Um, one of my concerns was performance because I mean we could have thousands of these things flying around in the game and it is negligible in comparison to the other one, the performance impact. So very happy there. Uh, yeah, all pretty cool there. So new ship system, new building system, new buildings. And there's one other thing I can show actually. Um, if I build a colony ship here, let's uh, find some more asteroids. Um, one day I'm going to make this a bit better. Uh, there is a bug here, which you may have noticed in previous videos, which I still need to fix. I wonder if we can see the, which one's leaving. No, I don't know. There's too many of them now. It's a bit difficult to see them leaving. Um, well, the bug was, if your asteroid is moving, uh, at the point at which you issue a movement command on the map, it spawns the map marker, which means that you kind of... Oh, ours wasn't moving anyway, which means you kind of have a map marker leaving there and the asteroid kind of flies off while this map marker stays there until it actually leaves the asteroid, if you know what I mean. I'm going to fix that at some point as well. Um, it's been around for a while. It's on my list. Um, let's colonize this and I'll show you the new thing as well. So colony... <laughs> I still have not fixed the Orca Space Whale bug, as I like to call it. Now, it's really easy to fix, as I think, think I said last time. I just keep forgetting. Um, and every time I see it, I'm like, God damn, I really need to fix that, but I'm working on something else, so I forget. Uh, anyway, at some point, the Orca Space Whale should leave. <laughs> Off it goes. Isn't that amazing? Maybe I should just leave it as the map marker, eh? The bigger than asteroid ship. Uh, once it arrives here... Now, I'm going to say this isn't finished. Uh, it's definitely not finished. Um, the animation is as basic as humanly possible. It's not an animation, again. This is actually just all in code. I've written this, whereas... I can do an animation to make this look smooth and nice and stuff, and I really should have sped up these things on this process, because this is exceptionally slow. But it should be exciting-ish, because it's kind of a change uh, in gameplay. While we're waiting for this, actually, I will say, so there's often decisions I'm making while I'm doing this, and I'm thinking, I wonder what other people will think of that. And I'm wondering if I should do it this way or the other way. And I think it'd be really cool if I could have a vote um, so I'm just going to shout out now. We do have a Discord. There's a total of three of us on it at the moment. Um, but I'll be posting like future projects and... Well, not future projects, but what I'm working on. And maybe we can uh, have votes on how we want things to work. I think that would be pretty cool. Like We could even vote on the game name if it if my Hail Mary doesn't work, which it won't. Um, like, at the moment, I'm floating Dystopia, but I don't know. It would be really cool if we could get some more people involved in the community. So I'm going to post a link in the description for the Discord. Join if you want. It could be cool. We can have chats about stuff. Um, anyway, rambled off uh, on about that. And while that's been happening, the ship has landed in a very weird way. Um, we can take it off also, which I will show in a bit. But oh, and I should have shown that you can't build. So you can't build on the asteroid until it's colonized, obviously. But now it has got population, we can. Um, so the colony ship itself counts as a building when it's landed. So the idea behind this is you can kind of pick if you want the starter building. So it's going to be quite expensive, but obviously it does all the things. Um, and also will probably be, provide some basic sensors. Uh, the other idea was if you had like an asteroid that you don't really want to colonize, like you don't care that much about it, why spend the money on permanent infrastructure where you could land one or two colony ships and mine out what you want, load all the stuff onto the colony ship and just take it with you um, and just leave this barren rock floating around. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, I don't know what everyone else thinks. Uh, should we take this off now? So now we've got obviously two buildings effectively on this. Um, if I pause and oh god I'm gonna have to find this. I need to ship pool at some point which will which will do this. And uh, I've got debug takeoff here. So if we were to unpause now, off it goes. 
and flies off again. And we should see, there we go. We got the drop in population and food and everything because it's gone now. Um, as I said, I need to tidy it up, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I don't think there's much else for me to ramble on about. I could say what's next, which um, you may have guessed I'm doing ship combat next, um, which is cool. I'm going to start with on asteroid combat rather than fleet to fleet engagements, but I've been working on fleet formation now, um, and that's coming along okay. Uh, then there's going to be an economy update, and then there's going to be a basic AI update so we have something to fight um, that isn't going to be pre-signed for testing purposes. Um, and that's exciting because once we get that AI, 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 AI in, um, we're going to have like a proper game, kind of, uh, which would be pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. As I keep saying, I'm always looking forward to releasing this. Uh, but I hope you are too. So thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.